Hit the red button. Yep. Is it on? Yep. All right. Conquest T42 turret. So here's what we got. This is the spindle shaft for the turret. You got an inner race and a spacer. It's a brand new bearing. We're gonna put that on. This is a piston housing. This is the front. So we're gonna put that on. And I'm gonna try and do this one. This will be the first time I ever put one together, assemble a spindle. And put it together with the spindle inside. So there. That's what you got. And this is a bearing, you'll see this, you can see this from the front when you pull that tool plate off. So that's what you got. The curvic, the tool plate bolts to this. And it's got that curvic in it. You can take a picture of that curvic and the tool plate. That goes right on the end of this. So now, what I'm gonna try and do this time, so we got we got a new bearing, it's got a needle, needle bearing, and a thrust bearing. And that part number, part number for them, if you get them from Hardings, it's going to be six weeks. If you get them here, it's uh, IKO NAX 6040. You need two bearings. So this is going to go right on here, and then here is what they call, this is called a spacer bearing, that's what they call a spacer bearing. What this does, this preloads that whole thing, that sets, that sets, that sets your bearing, that sets your bearing preload. So if you're putting new bearings in, we're gonna check this after we get it together. You have to grind this shoulder or the face of this spacer bearing, uh, this spacer I just put in here, to get the proper preload. And most of the time, you don't have to do that. It, it, it is, it's good. So that's ready to go inside the, the machine right now we're going to put this inside inside the piston housing with new o-rings and you got two o-rings in the housing and one in the cap and this is the cap right here this is what the other half of the curvic bolt to this seal will go bad because that goes the piston goes in and out all the time on this o-ring right here so that seal goes bad inside here and there's two old rings in the inside there one of them's right goes right on here the other one's on the piston so this piston just moves in and out with the spindle assembly off and here's the key to this 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 machine this is what your nuts tighten up on the spindle this this is your clamp housing I mean it, it actually this is what your prox switch picks up when this is on there this machine here that should that should slip right on there the only thing that locates this these two doll pins and this is all inside that housing I'm just showing you this so that you remember this is a 7 16 doll pin they go can you get a picture of that scallop they go in there and they stop this from moving back and forth. So you drive these in, these dowel pins down in here, and that's the only thing keeping this whole shaft assembly tight. What are you doing with the nuts? Give me the nuts, Junior. <laughs> so once this is on there, you gotta put the piston assembly in and put this detail here on as you're doing it. Then this nut tightens up to 100 foot pounds. Then you got a lock nut in here that gets green Loctite on it. 
And that's pretty much it. That's how that whole thing comes apart. Now, the next thing I want to show you, this is what drives this assembly. So this has two dowel pins to locate it and six bolts. So this is all one assembly. This moves in and out as the turret unclamps. It rotates by driven through here. And let me get the other part of that. And this part is stationary through bearings. So that's what drives your turret through a worm shaft right here. Worm shaft drives this ring, indexes this. When that unclamps, this, this stays engaged in this. So if those two doll pins get loose or in the nuts, this is gonna act like backlash, but what you really have is this assembly is able to, to move on the shaft. And that's what was wrong with this one. Those doll pins were broke. Right here. Broke doll pin, that's from a crash. <laughs> Don't crash your machines. <laughs> so, this is the other one. This, this goes on, this is, this is the cap. Here's what this detail is put together. So you got, this goes into a precision bore. And all that's holding this in there is that O-ring. It goes into, into the machine. This goes in here like that. Tightens up. And to disassemble this, all you do is two slide hammers and this detail comes out. This back plate preloads this. Just a taper. You got races on these. So that's that assembly. With the ring gear. This is how that, this is how that spline is driven. And this. You can see this is wider than this. Thicker, thick here, thin here. This housing right here is a bearing housing. Two bearings in this housing right here. This bolts on to your casting, and this is threaded. This detail here is threaded. This is where the bearings are in. This, this just comes out. This detail is threaded, so you're actually moving this worm. You're moving this worm this way to take backlash. When you install this, you want it all the way down so you got room to get your bearing in. Other end of this. One bearing goes on the end of that. So you put this in there. It's going to have clearance. Once you get that bearing in, and get, then you move this housing out until you get minimal backlash. And you don't want that real tight to turn this. You can turn it all the way around 360 degrees. And you might feel a couple tight spots. And so once this is done, there's a lock nut that goes on this housing. Right there. And then you got a tab that locks this in place on one of these bolts and a tab that locks this in from not moving. That's pretty much it. We're done. <laughs> All right.